Welcome to our lecture online. Here before us we have examples of three transformations in the XYZ coordinate system. So the black lines here are the X, the Y, and the Z axis. In the first case we're going to rotate about the X axis. So if you put your thumb in the direction of the X axis, notice that the Y axis and the Z axis will rotate like this. So Y is going to come down and Z is going to go down as well. And we rotate it through the angle of phi and then we have the the transformation matrix right here which represents that particular transformation. Since the x and the x prime axis are in the same direction, notice we have a 1 here and zeros here and zeros there. If we now multiply the rx prime, ry prime and rz prime with the transformation matrix or when we take that back, when we take the transformation matrix we multiply times the rx, ry, rz uh, coordinates or I should say not coordinates but um, are the components or the magnitude of the components of the original vector we get the same vector now expressed in the transformed coordinate system and so what we did then is we multiply this row times this column to get the first equation then we multiply this row by this column to get the second equation and this row by this column to get the third equation to get the rx prime ry prime and rz prime so that's how we use the transformation matrix to find the new vector in the new coordinate system or the same vector in the new coordinate system so here we have the transformation matrix when we take the same coordinate system now we rotate it about the y-axis so put your thumb straight up and you can see that the x rotates around this way and the z rotates around this way through an angle of phi and that's the appropriate coordinate matrix to do that and then here we take the x y z coordinate system and now we rotate it about the z coordinate so we take your thumb point in the z direction and x goes up and y goes to the left so that the whole thing rotates about the z-axis to an angle of phi and this is then the appropriate transformation matrix then all we need to know is what is the angle through which we rotate put the angle values in here and now we have the coordinate matrix or the transformation matrix to go from the original coordinate system into the transformed coordinate system and that is how it's done in three dimensions now to show you how this can be uh, utilized, we'll show you another example in the next video that will transform the coordinate system through a different axis to see how it come up with the coordinate system or the transformation coordinate system in that new coordinate system. Or let me say that again, it'll show you how to come up with the transformation matrix to then rotate it through the particular axle on the next example. So stay tuned and we'll show you one more example in three dimensions so you get more of a feel for it. And that is how it's done.